Welcome back to the Conscience of Kansas radio program with Paul A. Ibbotson. Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl with yellow feathers in her hair and a dress cut down her ass. She was merengue and do the cha-cha. Thank you, Emily, and welcome everyone back to the program. Well, your life chances, I guess, are reduced quite a bit if you're a showgirl named Lola dancing at the Copacabana, but... As we see in the New York Times, if you're a killer bear in Wyoming at Yellowstone National Park, well, you may get a few breaks in life. As the article says, Yellowstone National Park authorities will not try to capture a grizzly that killed a backcountry hiker on Wednesday because the bear was trying to defend her cubs when it was surprised by the man. The mauling of Brian Matoshi, 57 years old, was a defensive axe at Al Nosh, a park spoke he said Yellowstone typically does not try to capture or remove a bear in a wildlife incident. Wildlife incident, that seems a little bit kind of like a wide range. A wildlife incident could be, in my opinion, you know, bear gets into your car and eats some food out of your cooler, as opposed to the bear breaking into your body and taking a piece of your colon. I wonder if they're both marked under simply a wildlife incident. Mr. Nash said Mr. Matayoshi and his wife saw the bear twice on their hike. The second time, the grizzly charged them, and Mr. Matayoshi told his wife to run. The wife tried to dial 911 on her phone. The bear went for her, and she dropped to the ground. The grizzly lifted her off the ground by her backpack and then dropped her. She had scrapes and bruises, but did not seek treatment, and the husband died. Well, you know, it begs the question, what are you doing running around where these bears are at? I'm not going to be in that situation, but if I am in any situation in which a bear kills me, I want some kind of special death clause written up in my will that I want professional hitmen to track that bear, capture it, waterboard it, kill it, stuff it, and somehow stick a little electronic box in its chest or every time you open the door at my house, the bear says... To the Ibbotson household. In case you're wondering, I'm the bear that killed Paul A. Ibbotson. It was the worst mistake I have ever made. He had a professional hit put out on me. But now I'm dead, stuffed, and in his living room. Please wipe your feet and enjoy your stay. (laughs) 